How's it going guys? I wanted to do a, a video uh, sort of documenting how I'm, I'm going to go about modifying this uh, steering shaft. I'm modifying this uh, steering shaft for a friend of mine. He's doing a, a 5.0 engine swap from a Mustang into an S13. And uh, I believe why he needs this is so he can change where the U-joint is at and therefore clear the headers on the on the on the engine. I believe that's why you have to do this, but um basically you just gave me a, a task or an end goal and that is to make to pretty much get rid of this U joint or make it so it's like welded uh, straight so this thing won't have any play in it. So he wants it straight because then he's going to weld another U-joint down further. So what I want to do is take this fork off and this one off and um, see if I can cut them here and inside here on the shaft and then weld these two halves together. Now up here there's a, a bolt holding it onto this U-joint. So I'm going to see if I undo that bolt the whole shaft comes out so let's go ahead and give that a try here we go that's pretty nice so it's going to come out it does seem to be moving Alright, so the only thing holding it back was um, the second set of splines back here, but now that we got it off, the whole thing can come out. And this is what we need to work with now. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm not doing an instructional video on how to do this if you're doing a, a, the swap. But I figure anyone that's doing a similar swap or has um, a similar issue where they need to clearance um, the steering shaft a little bit differently, they may be able to benefit from this video. So that's why I'm documenting this process and also I thought it'd be pretty cool. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is take off the lower part of the shaft. Um, believe this connects to another half of the shaft and then that plugs into the um, rack and pinion but um, go ahead and remove these two bolts and pretty light pretty sure that this part is hollow actually it might be hollow all the way but if it if it's not hollow here I can machine it out and then stick this in and weld them together so what I'm gonna do now is cut it here and uh, cut it here and then I'm gonna go buy a, a little piece of um, steel that's big enough to connect the two all right so here's what I did uh, I went ahead and cut this end off and I cut the U-joint off and first I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast the paint off this is where I'm at. So I cleaned it up. Um, I just put it in there right now just to hold it. But I'm thinking I'm going to go the other route and make a little adapter cup in between the two to connect them. And um, that way it's not too short. I'm going to go down to the metal supply and buy a little chunk of steel.
this goes in there. Now we just gotta use the hammer to tap it all together. Now I just gotta weld it up and we're all done for the most part. And then I just gotta give it a coat of paint. Alright, I wanna make sure that it's perfectly centered. So I'm gonna use a style indicator. Pretty good. The surface isn't perfect either, so. I just want to make sure I get it pretty close. It looks pretty good, but I'm going to make sure uh, it's perfect. Alright, so here we have it all welded together. Um, I did go overboard a little bit with the welds, but this is a very crucial piece, so I don't want it. I don't want any chance of it breaking, and I want to make sure I had really full penetration. And I'm actually really proud of um, these welds. Check it out. They're pretty nice as, as far as like doing a, a revolved weld. Um, so I doubled up down here and then did three up here. But it only, I had already welded it and then I ground it down because I was having issues with the welder. And um, it didn't look very nice. So I ground it down and then I welded over it. Um, but as you can see, um, we got full penetration and now we can go ahead and put it back in the assembly I have it right here I'm gonna stand it up and tap it in there we go And then might be in a little bit too far. There you go. And now we just gotta tighten up that bolt again. Look at this end. And overall length, I believe, is only like about, it's, I think, exactly three inches shorter. Pretty sure I measured it at the shop. Yeah. Like three inches shorter overall. But once you have the U joint, I feel like it makes up for that as well. And he said he was going to have to cut a little bit off of it anyway. So hopefully this is just long enough. And if anything, he just has to cut off a little bit, not so much. And then after that, we just have to weld on the the U joint and we're done. So it's that perfectly centered. See that? Alright guys, well, I hope this helped somebody, or at least uh, was someone entertaining, and um, I'm going to keep doing stuff like this as time goes on. So if you guys like this type of video, please let me know in the comments below, and uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned.